Hi there. Thanks for tuning in to Make This Happen, where we discuss an idea we've been dying to see come alive. Every week, my friend, Jay Yee, and myself, Alex Gonzalez, will bring you a product you never knew you needed. Now, let's get started with glasses. Now, this is going to be the first time ever that I make an episode where I already have a company in mind to make this. I'm not going to say the company, but we're all going to guess really early. I want glasses to work with your phone, your headphones, and your watch and everything else so it's seamless. Now, I want these glasses to be high tech. I want them to have auto zoom. I want them to have focus. I want them to be able to take pictures. And I want them to also have headphones built in so that when it curves around your ear, you can also slide something down. I want these glasses to have sports mode that stay on your face, and I want them to be almost shatterproof with Gorilla Glass. I think these glasses can be much, much, much more comfortable than we have ever realized with awesome, great designs. I'm on board with everything except for the Gorilla Glass, because unfortunately, with what you want in these, in terms of tech, it has to be OLED. There's no... Yep. Okay, There's that's no fine. So we can do argument against that. Um, just because you need that optical zoom and you need all that digital stuff, and OLED right. would be perfect for that because it is see through, and it is moldable and stuff. Um, and I want these glasses also to do things that um, watches do now for your overall health, but for your eye health. I would love for my like, glasses for me to put them on and it goes, but your eyes are at. 75% strain. You have mm. not blinked. Th- or it would say something like, your blinking is at an all-time low. You are tired. And you're like, oh, fuck yeah, I am tired. I feel like it'll also be more beneficial in terms of what it does is it could have some kind of transition glass setting that makes sure not too many uv rays are hitting uh at any given time and it doesn't have to be like black transition right. you know what i mean maybe and because they're OLED, light as well maybe you could do it whatever color make it a fashion statement oh, absolutely you can make it i think so you can do like it any shades color. turn to whatever color you want because it's an oled screen you know what i mean um so it could be gradient you can make it all gr- i would make them green you know and make them like kind of sunburst down uh, and that would just protect your eyes from UV rays. Uh, I think in terms of like gestures, maybe we could implement some kind of blinking system to like do small commands. Cause I don't know how else you could do it on this. You can move your ears. Like I could move my ears. But not everyone can, you know what I mean? No, we're not going to do ear movement. Yeah. I think blinking and winking would be easy. Wink, wink once with your right eye, wink once with your left eye, do consequential winks, do two winks. But maybe it could be more like winks plus verbal commands. So you'd have to be, Mm -hmm. I'm here. I'm going to guess what the maker is. So you're going to go, Hey Siri. Exactly. Or you can just talk to Siri. I think it would also be cool if you just sat there and you're like, sleep mode. And then your glasses go completely black and then you can sleep because it filters out all light. And they're going to be so comfortable that it doesn't matter that you can wear them. What if the frames are some kind of bendable material? No, that wouldn't work because there's like fucking computers and shit in there. It has to be some hard case. Um, That is the main problem, though, is so much tech and things that I drop and get smacked quite frequently my glasses go through a lot of shit you should um, not be getting smacked i just running into stuff or stuff accidentally hitting me you know just getting hit in the face you probably don't have this trouble because you're tall you, so you're the one probably doing the smacking i'm the one that's getting an elbow to the face because you turned around too quick yeah i remember i used to elbow um co-workers yeah uh but being i would short, elbow them in their chest though being shorter, I would get hit in the face a few more times, I feel like, than you would. Uh, but that is the one negative component. Also, it has to be super sweat proof. Uh, oh, yeah. It's it's going to be sweat proof. It's going to be waterproof. And there's going to be certain cool things you can do. 
integration with maps while you're driving. Yeah. Um, you're going to be able to look at the night sky and spot constellations. Um, if you're looking at your iPhone while you have these glasses on, there's going to be cool integrations there where AR's it can be tech. all of a sudden AR. You can look at things better. You can have it where private mode, where you're looking at your phone and your phone's operating, but the screen's not on. Instead, you're seeing you're the only one that can see the screen through the glasses while mm. everyone else sees a blank phone as another you're operating great, it. Another great thing we could do is eye tracking to do some things or, or quicker. So you could open folders and apps just by looking at it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And like you could type just by looking at the letters because I'm pretty sure that's real tech that could actually work. You know what I mean? So you don't actually even have to type anything. You just look at the letter. Maybe you could do even like a typing system on your phone that you could just do with just using eye movements and like looking around and like doing it pretty naturally like that. Uh, there's going to have to be this most lightweight, at least two charges worth a carrying case that's super sleek and easy to carry around because these aren't going to be glasses that I wear like all the time like these are glasses like i would wear like sunglasses where i would have to take them on and off um, what if they split in the middle and then you can put each one in a portable charger kind of thing and then mm. um that fits each one like a little square and then when you join them together then they can go on your face and they just snap together i mean i'm fine with them snapped together and to that make, way but then the case instance, the case is still going to be the same size it's just going to be from here to here you know what I mean? It's going to get long. It, if you they don't split in half, it's just going to be long. But if they do split in half, it's going to be fat. But get me case. why. If it splits in half, I think it'll be good too. Like, let's say you get smacked and instead of them breaking, they just split in half. That's true, I guess. Yeah. So it's almost like um, the advent of the Xbox controller. Do you remember? I think even the original Xbox controller. If someone were to yank on your cord, it would yank somewhere else and come out. So it wouldn't be that bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, I would never own an Xbox, so no, not familiar with that. But um, yeah, no, I guess that that makes sense. Uh, having that feature, like some kind of safety feature like that, and then we'll be able to store all the tech in each individual lens, I guess. Yeah, and uh, the, some other features are going to be like, let's say if you're in low light areas, it'll automatically adjust the screen that you're looking at of, oh, so that you can see perfect. That's going to be so controversial. The people are going to be like, what if they make you see things that aren't even there? Because <laughs> you're like, you're like auto adjusting brightness and lighting levels and um, shit like it's a photograph. It can do that. Life. That'll be AR. So, like and then there'll be AR features. features on at all times. You know what I mean? Instead of being dark, you have perfect vision and you just yeah. look around as if it's like a but movie. But that's what, that's what it's going to be is you can automatically put them on and it's going to adjust your vision Creepy, for your cornea that's so crazy. that you have 2020. Crazy shit. I don't think you could do that. I don't know if that's tech that is possible. We're making um, it happen. I think that darkness thing, for instance, for me, I walk in the dark and I have to have a headlamp and stuff. Yeah. But no, I the think darkness thing is some trippy shit because I, I could think about what iPhones do for photos already in terms of lighting stuff. All of a sudden, you could put different settings on these glasses and make yourself look like you're walking through anime. Get that stupid Snapchat anime filter going on and make right. it look like you're just walking around in an anime world. Crazy shit. No, that's cool. Cool idea. Apple, make this happen. Thanks for listening. If you have any suggestions or products you'd like to see talked about, feel free to write in at appoundgames at gmail.com. How much do you think this would cost? I'm thinking like, what, $3,000, $4,000? Oh, I was on the much lower end. Yeah, I was thinking like seven fifty, dollars like affordable. Probably like $2,000. 2, okay, probably like I'm thinking $1,000, $1,250. Like, okay, an like, iPhone's twelve fifty, it's like two thousand. Yeah, I mean, Apple has done some outrageous things with their pricing. Uh, like, how much is that pencil? Pencil's a hundred bucks. Oh, okay, so I guess like eight hundred. Yeah, I was we thinking like Apple Watch level of pricing. You know, Apple Watch very, starts from two hundred and goes up. This thing could start at five hundred and go up to like ten thousand dollars. Woo. We have a Patreon. If you'd like to join the Pound family, come find us at patreon.com slash we are not game devs. Patrons receive episodes two days early, meaning make this happen gets to your ears that much sooner. If you enjoyed our show, take a second to give us a review. My throat got so itchy. Uh, yeah, I heard it. That was a dry gulp you just did there. <sighs>
We are we're on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play Store, and more. Catch you guys next Sunday with Jay's idea. Zippers. We did zippers. Did we do zippers? I, I swear to God, you've done zippers. <laughs> I did Kingdom Hearts clothes that have a lot <laughs> really? of zippers involved. It was a zipper. But I episode. don't think I did zippers. Okay. All right. My and throat literally closed. You're probably going to be able to hear it um, on, oh, on I, the mic. I heard it from just here. That was. It sounded uh, pretty crazy. I, mean, I struggled not to cough. Yeah. But all right. Zippers. Zippers, zippers. kind of suck anyway. So it's, I'm glad we're going to improve upon this. I don't know if this will make them any better, but I think it's a pretty cool idea. We're going to get more futuristic looking clothes with these new types of zippers. Next time on Make This Happen. Da-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na. ba da ba da ba 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 ba